Uh, I grew up in, interested in science and engineering and understanding the universe. And then in first year university, where I was studying a double major in psychology and software engineering, I discovered a magic club on campus. And I'd never really done any magic. It wasn't something I knew anything about. And just was completely fascinated by this. Again, mostly from a science, psychology, engineering point of view of it looked like something impossible happened. I wanted to understand how you could make it look like something impossible happened, and then discovering the processes of that was absolutely fascinating. If you get deep enough into any field of human endeavor, they eventually touch the same places. Because everything is a journey of understanding, everything is science, observe, hypothesize, experiment, rehypothesize, repeat endlessly. If you're trying to figure out how to get better at something or understand something better, no matter what that thing is, whether it's creative or technical or humanitarian or anything, it's still that same iterative science engineering approach. I mean, I do you know, magic, it's this you know, sort of glamorous performance art, but I'm using my STEM background all the time in the ways I design tricks, the ways I build props. If you have that science, math, engineering background, you can use it everywhere. No matter what your field is, people are going to find ways to do what they do better because of their scientific mind and training. You can never figure everything out, but you can get a lot further if you see it as a perpetual journey.